Come with it, Apple. Now we talking. Yo, yo, yo. So, if you guys are actually thinking about buying the current M1 Mac Mini that was released towards the end of last year, you might want to actually wait on that because the news I just got literally gave me goosebumps. Now, I'm so hyped to tell you guys about the details on the new M1X Mac Mini. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. And I also got some render designs to show you guys what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and break this whole thing down. Ah, man, I'm hyped for this one. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this one because I got some juicy details for you guys now the first thing i want to show you guys is the look and design of it before we get into all the internals of this thing pricing and all of that but before i actually show you all of that i want you guys to comment down below how many likes is on this video and i got a little something for you guys towards the end of this video as well so keep it locked for that oh yeah and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the apple tech product news and review that actually rhymed <laughs> so here is what the rumor m1x mac mini will look like feast your eyes on this beauty right here the obvious change to this design that we can see is the thickness has been sliced and have and i absolutely love it and it will be more of a square design all around and underneath it it will also include a vent for airflow that's going to be there as well now it's actually funny that apple is actually doing this because i said this in a previous m1 mac mini video that i did here on the channel that since apple's internals on the current m1 mac mini was cut down and they were able to remove a lot on the inside by going from intel to their own m1 processor why is the body the exact same as the previous intel versions well it looks like apple was listening to your boy and said you know what see kid you're right we should make that change so they literally slim this m1 x mac mini edition down by 50 percent and it looks ah oh, it looks so good now the top of the current m1 mac mini that i have right here has a metallic like material which is the same design that it's pretty much been for years literally ever since the beginning of the mac mini days rumor has it that it will be going away with this material and we'll be using some sort of like a plexiglass type material that's going to lay over top of this so why is this a big deal because this is going to allow guys for most likely apple to give us the same color lineup that we saw with the brand new release m1 imax that i had been covering here on the channel and you already know what color your boy's gonna be going with you know I, I gotta go with the orange i mean need i say more <laughs> now the next thing we gotta talk about is the ports come with it apple now we talking now according to the rumors and all of these great renders looks like we will be seeing four usb c ports as well as thunderbolt 3 ports two usb a ports and i'm assuming this will be a 10 gigabit ethernet port right out of the gate as well as an hdmi port another change that we can expect to see is the power port as well as the connector cable is going to be the exact same that we saw on the m1 imax that i showed you guys here on the channel which I gotta say is a whole lot easier to plug in these iMacs and I'm looking forward to it. And you can also expect the power button to also be the same that we see on the new M1 iMacs as well. Now what's really dope about all of the changes coming to these ports is that this makes connecting up to more than just two monitors possible, having at least probably three or four monitor setups if you guys want to be able to do that and it will run it smoothly on this tiny but powerful machine. Now one thing I gotta mention that seems like Apple is just not going to include and that is bringing back the SD card reader. Now I would have personally like this as I still use SD cards for my videos but to me as well as you guys out there this is not going to be that big of a deal because I've pretty much given you guys the blueprint to solve this problem and if you don't know what I'm talking about all you guys got to do is head over to the applenest.com and purchase this USB-C hub with hard drive enclosure that is perfectly designed for the M1 Mac mini and it is personally what I use and what I've been recommending to you guys over the several videos that I've done and you guys have thanked me for it. and I mean I got y'all and I'll go ahead and include that direct link down for you guys in the description below so speaking of this tiny but powerful machine let's talk about the internal layouts and all of that with the M1X Mac mini and what it will be packing so rumor has it are y'all ready for this because i don't really think you are now rumor has it that it will be able to configure up to 64 gigabytes of ram with a 10 core cpu as well as an option for 16 or 32 core gpu for graphics i mean come with it apple now this right here man definitely is going to be the machine for those heavy video editors heavy graphic users that really pushes their machine to the limits but i mean all of this power packed inside i can only imagine how smoothly this machine is actually going to run based off of my current experience with the m1 mac mini that i already like and i use literally on a daily basis now let's talk about pricing for a second now again i do not know exactly what the price will be but i can say in typical apple fashion with the mac mini has always been the best entry point for mac os because it's always been affordable for a couple reasons because you still need to buy a monitor you still need to buy a keyboard as well as a mouse uh desktop speakers and other things and speaking of keyboard real quick hold on now i can imagine on the newer version we will be able to use touch id that we have here on the keyboard 
that we get with the iMac, which is a huge bonus. But because of those other peripherals that you guys will need to buy, I can assume Apple will still somehow keep this price into no more than I'm thinking probably starting around $900 to $1,000 for the base model. And to be honest with you guys, I still think that this small increase to the base model will still be worth it based off of my current experience with the M1 Mac Mini. But again, pricing is all speculations. We just gonna have to wait and see what Apple decides to do. So CK, when will the M1X Mac Mini be coming out? Is it this month? Is it next month? Well guys, as of right now, there's no dates that have been confirmed on the release date, but it is rumored that the M1X MacBook Pro will be announced at WWDC next month that will have literally the same internals as this one. So we may hear an official announcement from Apple at WWDC, but again, guys, it's all rumors at this point, so you never know. But I will say this, it's looking like WWDC might be a really fun product packed event despite its history with just being more of a software based event. But Again, you never know. So, well guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions about the new M1X Mac Mini, then go ahead and let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, also, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna stay up to date on any other Apple news, Apple products, any Apple content like that. Thanks again for watching. See y'all in the next one, squad. <laughs> So it's been about two months now since I copped the M1 Mac Mini. Wow, no pro fresh in the house. 16 to 8 gigabytes. Tell me what's your style. I'm here to tell you if it's good. If it's not, then it's not worthwhile. Let's see. Hold up. Performance is great. Apple chips stand up right now. Let's go. Let's go. No overheating. Got grace. The jigs up. Best desktop. I own the glow up. Let's get into this video and complete our two month doc order routine checkup. <laughs> I'm back with these bars, shining through the shadows. Hit that like button and subscribe right now while I spit bar live through the stereo. Swap! <laughs>